Mod Institute top tip, all NX scanning with the three shape trio. So how do you get your scan bodies, your soft tissue scan and your pre prosthetic all scanned in at the proper vertical and all aligned? It's actually really quite simple. In three shape, you're gonna go ahead and set up a new case and then go ahead and click yourself as the lab. So you have to set up yourself as a laboratory. And then you're gonna go ahead and just call one of the arches a single unit crown and make sure you select implant crown because that's going to open up additional library options. Click one um, tooth on the upper and one tooth on the lower. That just saves time later on. Hit save and then you're going to go ahead and go ahead and make sure that the emergence profile is selected and pre-preparation scan is selected. That gives you three library catalogs per arch. Pre-prep, soft tissue, and scan body. And so now when you go look at all of these libraries, start off scanning your pre-prosthetic here. Um, so I started on the um, hamular notch and I'm scanning that whole entire provisional in. And then I'm going to go to the lower and do the same thing, but start on the retromolar pad. Trios is phenomenal at doing this. Then scan the bite. If it, then now my bite didn't pin automatically, so I did a manual alignment. And now it duplicates the arches into the soft tissue scan. And so I'm gonna delete the prosthetic, but leave as much soft tissue as possible and restart scanning the soft tissue scan um, where I had common data before, which was the Ruge for here. And then um, it's gonna ask you then to delete the little MUA caps. In this case, it's a true abutment segmented bar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scan my scan bodies. So this is the third scan I've done on the maxillary arch, but they're all aligned in space. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower. I'm gonna delete uh, my prosthetic, start scanning on the retromolar pad, get my little MUAs. These are again, custom MUAs, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna delete those because it's gonna duplicate the files into my scan body folder now. And now I'm gonna start back on the retromolar pad as well. It picks it right up and I'm gonna scan my scan bodies. And literally that is it guys. I have three all merged together um, parts on each jaw now. Check this out. So it's gonna all render and post process out the upper prosthetic, the lower, the scan body scans, and the soft tissue scans all aligned in space and easily exportable as ply or STL. Hope this helps you guys understand stitching of files.